Good morning, it's Dr. Crypto here, and Crypto.com just does not stop. And I keep saying this every video I do, they don't stop, and they don't stop. They keep working away and grinding away. But in this video, we're going to talk, obviously, about Crypto.com, but also we'll talk a little bit about Bitcoin towards the end. But like I said, always give us a thumbs up and give us a like, and even give us a subscribe if you can. And if you don't like what I'm doing, give us a thumbs down. It, it helps out with our algorithm, apparently. So, yeah, all your support is always much appreciated, as always. And I just want to put a disclaimer, and I will do this on every video. I do hold an IC white card from crypto.com and also I hold a significant amount of CRO as well. And I do stake my CRO in Earn, DeFi Wallet and everything else. Uh, but yeah, so crypto.com, absolutely fantastic news. We've got a tweet this morning, 49 minutes while making this video. We're excited to announce full operation approval in Dubai's Virtual Asset Regulatory Authority. Crypto.com exchange will be available for institutional investors as our first launch in the region. And we've got full details here. So we could go to here and to the website. And it says on April the 9th, Dubai Crypto trusted by more than 8 million customers worldwide. And the industrial leaders regulated compliance, security and privacy announced today that is Dubai entity crow dax middle east fze has received full operational approval from dubai's virtual asset regulatory and launching the crypto exchange for institution investors as its first operational milestone and this is all good it's like i said they've gone to various other countries and you can see here brazil france south korea of recent and then we've got canada and then spain uk greece ireland and it goes on and on and on and where we see other exchanges getting removed from countries we see crypto.com getting full approval and able to operate in those certain countries without any issues at all because they see what crypto.com are doing crypto.com they all seem to do the right things yet yeah, they do the obviously they do the application forms correctly they have various meetings and this is really really mega bullish mega bullish for the crypto.com business but also bullish for the CRO fam because that means more people will come into crypto.com and it doesn't necessarily mean they're going to buy CRO, but there's more of a high likelihood that these people will buy more CRO or buy CRO as we go, which is going to be good for the price action. It's all positive news. It's like when you see in the stock markets, you get a company who gets good results that come out, it may pump up the price a little bit. And obviously, Everything that happens positively is good for the Crow fam, good for crypto.com. And this is our one step to get to that $1 mark, which is all good. And like I said here, the operational approval follows crypto.com fulfillment of the pre-operation conditions stipulating the virtual asset service provider license granted uh, in the DAX Middle East FZE in November of 2023. We can remember that coming out. And marks the first for global crypto operated to operational with fiat in the UAE. So basically goes on here and says available for institution clients and qualified retail investors. The crypto.com exchange will has has deep liquidity and state of the art matching engine. Offer spot trading, staking, brokerage, and other OTC offerings around settlements for set selected markets with this full operational approval. Crypto.com has all initiated plans for further in the market product launches expected in the coming months, including crypto.com app and additional retail users focused product so obviously the debit cards and the, the crypto.com app is going to be available for people to to stake and so, so it's all positive and excited news and it said we are thrilled to expand our presence in offering the uae with a support of vara said eric president chief operational officer crypto.com launching with our world-class crypto.com exchange institutional service will be fundamental to our continual growth and success in such key markets for our company we are incredibly supportive steps by Dubai is taking progress in the crypto industry, both in market and abroad, says Stuart Lister, General Manager of Middle East and Africa, Crypto.com. But this is still just the beginning and we look forward to continue work clear with Ivara and collective efforts effectively responsible. So what I'm saying, is, what this is saying here, they're not stopping. They have more places in sight to get their licenses. And like I said, Hong Kong, I have a feeling, is in their zone that, that they are fixed on hong kong and i wouldn't be surprised in the near future that we'll get a tweet like this with hong kong flag on it uh 
I, I think this is going to come probably sooner rather than later. And you just know what they're building. And if we want to get to that $3 mark or get to that $1 mark, this is the kind of thing, obviously, we want to see because it's bringing in more liquidity. It's bringing more users in. And we can see the user growth is growing all the time in Crypto.com. It's always building. And this is what we need. And we want to get that price up because we want to make, at the end of the day, we want to make life-changing money. And uh, to do that, we need Crypto.com and the Kronos ecosystem to do their work and keep building and keep getting out there. Because when we get more institutions coming in and we get more countries getting on board, that is what we call success. And I said in the bull market, bear market that Crypto.com to me it's totally fine ignore the fud because you can see what they're building it's like a lot of why i get into cro a lot is because i see what they're building i see the future of crypto.com and when you see a company continually building in the bear market when there's all the fud about and they do not stop working that to me is a sign to, to get into it and that's what i did and you know and you can ignore the footage and you can, in terms of the price action, you know, people are saying CRO hasn't done anything. It just has not done anything. And when we were sitting at that five pence mark, when we were sitting down here and it was boring sideways action, we got all the FUD that came down and we dropped down and FUD. And like I said, I've been building around that way and we've moved up, pumped up to 12 pence people said we haven't done nothing but yeah we've come down a bit the market on the whole has come back down a bit but look at that big massive move to the upside here and we reached again 17 pence and people said we haven't done anything to those people at the end of the day we have gone and moved up on this market around about 258 percent and we haven't done anything that you know it, it baffles my mind sometimes because if you go to the stock markets go to the stock markets and look at some of the uh the some of the stocks you can buy and how much they've pumped up by what well, about three four five percent uh but like we moved up like this and we're still early stages of the bull market and to me we've got a long long way to go and we can see here if i'll quickly look on the weekly where we are we're at the early stages. We've come up to this bit of resistance here. We've got a lot of support down here, but we've got the resistance here around about that 17, 16, 17 pence bar. But like I said, if we could break through that and start the old season is so, so close. It's getting closer and closer and closer. But we could break through that. Next target is the 20 years, 20 pence marks, the 23, 27 pence mark. And then we've got nothing all the way up to around about 50 pence mark. And I really do think when we get news like this and we can get... Dominance coming down on Bitcoin's dominance come down. Bitcoin goes sideways a little bit. But don't forget, we've got that halving coming up in 10 days. So at the moment, this is a catalyst for Bitcoin potentially to make the moves. Will we get a bit of a more of a dip or will we just start moving to the upside? We're waiting for that for Bitcoin. And so we can see here on Bitcoin at the moment, it's made some beautiful moves to the upside. And we can see here, and this is on the weekly, look at where the moves we've made here. But if we go into the four hourly as well on Bitcoin, we can see here that it's obviously, it's sort of broken out of that wedge. Like I said before, that big wedge, we've broken out of that. And we're basically testing the area of support here, which is a nice bit of support. If I put a marker here, we can see this here, this area of support around this way here. We can see it there. Nice bit of support here. If we hold that, there's a chance we could make our way back up to the upside. But we have seen... A little bit more flows coming out uh, of of the uh, ETF flows have been coming out around 223 million. Uh, but honestly, we've got a lot of data coming out this week as well. But overall, going back to CRO again, CRO is up on the day 6%. It's not bad at all. But like I said, when you, we see these people coming out and say we haven't moved, we have moved. But this is all good catalysts for us to make our way to that $1 mark, to that $3 mark. All I say to everybody is just be patient. It, it And like I say, there's nothing wrong in taking profits as well. And people have been sitting around and taking a bit of profits. There's nothing wrong with taking profits. 
I'm not a diamond hander. I'll admit that. I'm not a diamond hander because I've seen so many people in the previous bull market when I was buying ADA, diamond hand this, diamond hand that. And then the bear market will come in, diamond hand it, diamond hand it. And they won't take your profits. All I say, nothing I say is financial advice. You do your own research. But for me, I'm not a diamond hander. You know, I'll start taking profit, little bits of nibbles at profits. Especially when we get to that $1 mark, I'll stay, take my initial out. Uh, I'll start to take that out anyway. And then as we go in up and up and up and up, I'll nibble away at a little bit more profit because that's what we're here for. We're here to make profits, not just to sit here and see our money grow and uh, not take anything out. Because at the end of the day, we want to make life changing money. You want to pay debts off. You want to pay your mortgage off. You, you want to buy nice holidays, nice if you wish to, nice cars. I'm not really into me nice, nice cars uh, uh, because obviously I like to invest it into things like real estate, uh, real estate properties as well as keep money to one side ready for the bear if the bear market kicks in again and to buy the dips again uh so yeah so overall great news for crypto.com we've had uh, outflows coming on the etfs on bitcoin no, i'm not worried about any of that but obviously lots of things going on with cro let's keep that cro bull mode bull mode going and uh let's get to that one dollar and then on and onwards so if you like this video give us a like and give us a subscribe and i'll see you soon in the next video take care